Welcome back to a Game of Thrones. A lot of you pointed out I swapped between the Series B and Series A cards. I'm literally just doing it to mess with you guys at this stage. So, last episode, a lot happened. We, we put all the pieces in place. Now we've just got to act on it. We became King of Last Lament. We've dealt with the succession issue, which was uh, we're playing as, of all things, cognatic seniority, which means uh, women will inherit. Was it, was it women will? No, no, no. Everyone inherits equally, but it's always the oldest. So right now we've got Lady Court part up next. Actually a good character, wouldn't mind playing Ezra. She's quick, she's honourable, humble, slothful, patient. Her bad traits, Craven and Slothful, we can get rid of with the hunting focus for a little while. Her children, actually good as well. Her son there, Yako, Yakio Valani, needs a rename I think. Uh, attractive and bright, and you know what? Because he's the future of our house, let's rename him to... Um, what have we not had for a while? Actually, let's just name after Random Ancestor and see what we've got. Coffee Machine Microwave. That's one of my favourites. That's one of my favourite name, Valyrian names we've come up with all series. Microwave Valani. He's going to be a good character. You're going to grow up to be a fighter, I can tell. Was it Robert Rafton said you'll be a soldier one day? I don't remember. More to the point, we got a kingdom level title. We set up succession so that we've got not only a good heir, but a good heir to our heir. We've got a level 5 slave camp in the capital. which means build cost, build time is reduced by 50%. We've got a dragon egg, which we can then sell and bring in a shit ton of cash. And I am going to do that. Like I said before, the sooner we get rid of the dragon egg, the more chance we've got of actually getting another dragon egg. You know, or, or we can only get a dragon egg when we get rid of the last one. So why not get rid of it, huh? I don't think the dragon can fly away anyway. Then, what's left to do? I guess just fabricate claim somewhere near Valyria. We could always go for, like, Mantaris. I did say Volantis before, but Volantis is obviously quite big, quite powerful, and quite ancient. Go for, like, Mantaris. Kind of a shitty place. It's full of, like, mutants and weird people, so they're not going to be particularly liked. Grab a claim up there, and then head to Valyria. Oh, we could also go for, like, the Isle of Elos, but they are under, you know, Yonkai, and they're obviously quite powerful. We go for Mantaris, and then we head into Valyria. We may be able to start the colonization this episode. It could be pretty fantastic. Current major goal, still the same as last episode. We weren't able to get it done in time because it took longer than I expected here. We've got to wait another two years. So, after ten years of ruling this title, when did we first start ruling it again? It was, uh, yeah, 3878. Sorry, 8378. I can't read numbers. Uh, we've only got to wait another two years. Well, less than that now, like a year and a half. Then we can flip over to a decent succession law. Still kind of happy with the succession law we've got. We kind of want to play as Crockpot only, and then play as a kid afterwards, huh? Or oh, like elective monarchy. That might not be too bad. Um, rulers of their vassals. The, the issue is we could literally get a game over doing that if we're not careful. So I'm going to stick with this. Primogeniture would be good, but our kids are... Garbage. In fact, I'm not even sure who our successor will be with primogeniture because our immediate siblings are dead and our immediate children are dead and our children's children um, didn't exist, I think. Yeah, she died before she was able to marry off or anything like that. Killed by the White Walkers, which is still something Westeros is dealing with. We'll obviously take a look at those guys later on in the episode. Burn this apostate. I don't know who you are and I don't really care who you are either. I swear to God, CK2 saves up events and when you load into a game, hits you with everything at once. Now... Last episode, or, or like three episodes ago, we got ourselves a health elixir. We played like 250 gold for it. And when we drink it, it gives us plus four health. Now I think it's time to use it. We're infirm. We are depressed. We're wounded. That gives us a total of what? Minus three health, I believe. If we drink that health potion, that's going to cancel out. We need to live another year before we can change the law. Now is absolutely the time to do it, isn't it? Pause. For the love of God, pause. Please, for the love of God, pause. Drink that health elixir. Chug it down. Oh. It had side effects. We're now a lunatic. Oh, guaranteed lunatic means we can join the Alchemist Guild, though. Holy shit, that could be huge. Just for 250 gold, we can bypass all the requirements and get into this. We've already built the Alchemist Guild, haven't we, as well, in, in Last Lament? Actually, don't know. Um, it normally adds a province modifier. Oh, well, actually, shit, I think we built it in Stonehead and then gave it away. We might have to build it again. Doesn't matter. This is going to be another way to get some gold and obviously fund our, our ridiculous realm. So like I was talking about before, let's actually fund our ridiculous realm. Dragon Egg, we're going to sell it. Seems like madness. Everybody's got a fucking Dragon Egg these days. There's a hundred dragons kicking around all over the Shadowlands, all over King's Landing, all over Valyria. These aren't as rare as they used to be. We can sell it for 650 gold. With the minus 50% build cost build time, we can basically build whatever. That, this place is going to be, I've said it before and I'll say it again, an absolute powerhouse. What do you want to go for, really? Um... Anything that will bring in cash. That brings in a lot of cash. Let's go for the weird butcher to start off with. Are we ever seeing construction? We are. Have we got anyone better than you? Yeah, we do. Alios is so much better. Send him a gift as well. Keep him on side. Uh, did we even sell that fucking dragon egg? Did it? Is it just not sold yet? Um, use it as you see fit. Separate bed chamber, sure. Our husband hates us. I'm not really much of a surprise there. Do we not even sell it? Okay, let's try that again then, huh? Um, manage, manage artifacts. 
We could also sell our glass cannon because we're literally too stupid to use it. The alchemy skill might change that though, so we probably want to hang on to it. Sell. Um, let me know when a buyer is found. Hey, there we go. That's kind of useful. So glass candle. Intrigue plus two, diplomacy plus two, learning plus three, month prestige. It's a very, very good artifact. Lots of decent bonuses there. You need 12 learning. We're literally too stupid, as I said before, to do that one. You also have to be either a mystic, uh, worship the Valyrian gods, red priest, warlock, or shadowbinder. Obviously, we're Valyrian. So this is going to be a hugely beneficial artifact for us. Oh, Jesus, as well? Really? Oh, my fucking God, look at this. Depressed, wounded, infirm, lunatic, cancer. We've got to wait a few more months. This is the game absolutely screwing me here. We've waited 10 years for this moment to change the succession law. And in the last few months, it's hit me with this shit. My life is in your hands. Seriously, let's just risk it. Okay, that's why we risked it. That's incredibly lucky. So we've got, just to recap here, let me try and crunch numbers. You normally start with base 5 health. We're fine. Does that affect it? No, okay, good. So... Base 5 health, minus 1 because of depression, takes it down to 4. Minus 1 because of wounded, takes it down to 3. Infirm, knocks us down to 2. Cancer, knocks us down to minus 0 0.5 health. But then health elixir takes it up to 3.5 health, plus another 3 on top. We're actually up to 6.5 health. We've net gained health, even with depressed, wounded, infirm, lunatic, and cancer. We're healthier than your average CK2 character. What the fuck? This is the strangest thing I've ever seen in my whole goddamn life. How long does it last, though? So that lasts until 3888, first moon. Sixth first moon. Okay, and when... How, how long? When do we need? Oh, my God. We need to get to the third month. January, February, March. The potion wears off in January. We need to get to March. We could get lucky. But, my God, if we die in that, in that period between that, that would suck so, so much. Now, we did also build a castle town. I don't know if you guys saw that. I should just point out very briefly. We did also get a castle town. Where are my troops? Oh, God. Um, oh, the garrison's non-existent because we have slaves. Okay, I guess the garrison is dealing with the slaves. What about the levy, then? Um, new administration. Oh, my God. How long does new administration last? That's another 10 years on that one, too? You shit. Why not? Let's go out. We may be able to buy another health potion. I wonder if you could double up on two. Surely that wouldn't work. Because you could just stack up a ridiculous amount of health doing that, huh? Um, these voices sound foreign. Uh, these elixirs look colorful. We can buy another health elixir. It's 30 gold. Man, that was easy. Um, they don't stack, though. Just in case they don't stack, what we'll do then, we'll wait. First of eighth moon. Oh, man. It would always just be good to keep that in a... Like, always have one of those in reserve, right? That way, if you get hit with rabies... Chuck a health potion, that's half the damage that Rabies does. I mean, Rabies does seven. Well, it's like seven or minus eight health or something like that. Um, it, it's going to make it survivable, whereas normally it's just instant death. Frying pan the unworthy. Never before is a more appropriate but nickname given to any character in CK2. When this one fades off, we're immediately going to chug another one. Although, if they all have negative effects, let's hope it doesn't get worse, huh? All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Sick to first moon. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Firmly grasp it. Drink. Chog. She's good. Oh my god, look at her face. My god, she just aged a hundred years after drinking that. We're fine. Any side effects? Doesn't look like it. Oh my god. We're still at 6.5 health, so we might... Don't forget, she could just die of old age too on top of that. Oh my god. Casterly Rock has been grabbed by the White Walkers, who have 765,000 troops, even after all of this. Yeah, I think they are just unstoppable at this point, aren't they? That's so cool. I've never I've never seen them get this far south before, ever. They're basically, they literally border Dawn. Well, they don't quite because of the mountain, but they are, they are almost at Dawn there. It's insane. And I love that they specifically went for Castly Rock as well. That's some big brain plays there from the, from the Night's King. The gold of the West cannot buy safety from the winter. How many of these events do you think there are then? How many events are specifically? It's going to be one for like each major hold. So like King's Landing, obviously Storm's End, which still is independent. Um, High Garden. I wonder if there is one for like dawn and what happens if they take the whole thing then what what if they go across to the three cities i don't know well, it's not a worry for us anyway i doubt they can even get to valeria because they don't have boats right do they have boats do white walkers have boats oh god they've got friggin boats oh no turns out no one's safe it's full of volcanoes they can't stop a volcano you can't just freeze a volcano get out of here with that shit okay we have reigned for 10 years However, we are a massive dishonorable tyrant because we killed our... Ah, oh, we're also Kinslayer. Because we killed our sister. The only way to be able to change this law is to have no vassals with a negative opinion of us. Ah, uh, put your hands in there if you can see the issue with this. Hang on, they'll just accept revocation. Well, vassals can't have a negative opinion of you if you haven't got any fucking vassals, huh? Wait, what? 
Okay. Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> this is so dumb. Can we just revoke everything and just be done with it? Oh my god, they're saying yes, you absolute fools. Give give it to me. I will take all of this now. Thank you. Yep, this is mine too. Good. Uh, vassals with a negative opinion. Obviously, the more we revoke, obviously more vassals are going to start hating us more and more. But they're not saying no, I guess, because we're a freaking dragon lord. He, we can't even revoke that. Oh, because we're at truce with this guy, huh? Why am I at truce with you? Um, Zolothar, the killing of Tortree's town. Tortree's town, Tortree's town. Um, four years. You've got to go. You've got, you've got to die, my friend. I'm sorry to say it, but people probably want him dead as well because he is a dishonorable, dynastic kinslayer. What an animal. What sort of animal would be... A oh, God, we can't. Shit. There is a way we can do it. We can do that. That works. <laughs> okay. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done, but it actually will work, so bear with me. Burn them. Just kill them all dead. 6% chance of wounded. 3% chance of aimed. Oh my god, he's done it. Have his family put in the dungeon. 21% 21% war score for sieging his goddamn capital. Are you shitting me? It's going to be a long, protracted war again, huh? You're going to do that. Cool. Land those troops in the capital. We should be able to defeat that even if we're coming in at like half round with boat bombing in there. He may just surrender as well. Oh, we're at 81%. Now we're at 85%. Good god. Okay. Um, Chase them. Might as well get as much war score as we can here. We'll count for... Oh my god, we got him in battle. This is nuts. I can't believe this is working, but it, like I said, it actually will. It's that ridiculous. Give me that. Uh, where's your truce now? Zalathor the Cunning. Not so cunning inside behind those bars, huh? Um, what else am I doing? Hang on. Right, we need to revoke some more titles here. I'm going to have to revoke titles from good, hard-working Valerian men, but unfortunately there's not much else I can do about that one. I'll take uh, Coney Forest. Thank you. Coney 2012. Turns out it should have been Frying Pan 80, 38, 83, 80. Look, this year, all along. You Joes can stay where you are. Is that a racial epithet? I certainly hope not. Take that one too. Thank you for... Oh, it's his house name, isn't it? For fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> what a fool. How many more have we got? Vassals of negative opinion. That would be all of them, but I think they're just all going to say yes because they're just lords. And we count as a very fearing... Yeah, we're an intimidating ruler. They're all absolutely shit scared of us and our big boy dragon. We'll take all of that, and they're all going to say yes. You fool. You could have all banded together and maybe overthrown us. Well, there we go. We've fixed the problem. No vassals definitely have a negative opinion of us. Uh, oh my god, it actually worked. We shouldn't be rewarded for that. That is some meta gaming ridiculous dumb bullshit, and it's actually worked. What's our dishonor, though? What's our tyranny? Um, it hasn't gone up, because technically none of that was tyrannical. It just lowered vassal opinion. Sometimes... Sometimes I think I'm good at this game. Sometimes. Not all the time, I will admit. I, I'm too impatient. I act just out of impulse, just because I think certain things will be interesting or for make for an interesting video. This, though, this was the right thing to do. Primogeniture? I don't really want to change it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I really want to play as her and then play as her son. I think for the good of the round, though, we will go primogeniture. Just to see... I, we can't, no, we can't play seniority. Seeing the artist is probably, or even Agnatic Cognatic would be better. Primogeniture, I think, has got to happen. Cognatic Primogeniture, I think she's still the first in line. They're both cousins. Or oh, we go Gavel Kind, but that would also be horrible. Let's do it. Boom. Who is that? Griddle Valani Dragon Rider. What the fuck? Where did you. It's our last character's son. We've done it. We've come full circle, boys. Uh, you will be a martial, a martial character. He's already got 11 martial, so you know what? Let's, let's, let's go with it. Um. A sign guardian. He's going to be a decisively average character that hopefully we can marry to a genius and eventually bring this around. Um, who have we got that can educate you? Everyone's shit. But anyone who's patient, diligent, quick, anything, for the love of God, please give me anything. Um, patient right there. Canella. Okay. Uh, we've got patient and we've got diligent there. He's not too bad either. He's, he's actually a decent character. Honorable, brave, but slow. Does act against his education. Um... Yeah, we haven't really got too many good choices here, unfortunately. Let's just type in patient and see what that brings up. Nothing. Of course, because there was definitely no patient characters there. Yeah, I've, fantastic. Okay. Um, let's see if we can, can't find a good educator for it. Young Griddle. Uh, he's already got a dragon. I love that as well, by the way. What's he got? Daymax. Daymax the dragon with 15 martial. So we're uh, immediately going to be playing as a dragon rider with the decent dragon. So even if Axion fucks off back to the Shadowlands, back to Saraburai, makes no difference. This is insane. Okay. Join court, yes. I'm going to assume not a single person wants to join our goddamn court. Oh, you're all fools. He's a good character. He would be good to educate our kid. Sure, welcome aboard. Um, for anybody patient, diligent, quick. All a patient, diligent genius is absolutely the best comment you get to educate kids. Oh, God, there's you. Has he got good martial? 
It's not bad. This guy is so good. Just, patient, diligent, and charitable. And he's a trained fighter. Bargello of Volantis. Send him a gift. Bring him on board. Uh, Griddle Volani. Yeah, we knew about that one. Here he is. Send him a gift. Make sure he sticks around. Fucking hell, he's so good. Do we just keep all the titles? I mean, our monthly balance is going to be low because we control all of the titles. Like, all of the titles. It would be higher giving some away. I think we'll wait until we play as an... Oh, hang on. If we're over our title limit and we die, we someone will become independent, won't they? We're going to have to dish these all out. But it will give Vassal... Like, opinion of predecessor, it will give bonuses to that, at least. we got that going for us, which is quite nice. Um, oh, God. We're quite hated. We are we are ridiculously hated. All right. Uh, who was it arrived in our court? Where is she? There we are. Vargello, send him a gift. We already have. Give him an artifact. Absolutely not. You can you can get shit on on that one, my friend. Um, award honorary title. What can we... Like, Designated region, anything to keep him around. I really don't want him just leaving our court immediately. Um, which he will, now that he knows what a horrible monster of a person we are. There we are. And then assign Guardian, you to Griddle. No, 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 no. What's his name? Bargello. Name. V, 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 Bargello. Such, I can't overstate how incredibly lucky it was to find this dude. Now, we want to do our regular sort of kid education thing. Let's set up a chief general. Who is our best fighter? Uh, this guy is skilled. This guy is also skilled, but he's slothful, so fuck you. We got any formidable? Nope, absolutely not. Right, let's put you on board then. You are in charge of training, child. Thank you. You are overseeing court. That's fine. Can we find a formidable fighter? If we can find that, that, that we're, like, we are golden. Everything's worked out perfectly. Um, no. We've got a faceless man, though. Oh, sympathy for Eastern gods. I mean, that, that is the symbol of the faceless man. All right, let's not, let's not worry about it. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. In the mouth. In the mouth. We're good. Everything's set up for succession now. Was that a horrible thing to do? Absolutely. Uh, we're probably going to pay the cost later on. We're not We're not completely out of it. There are going to be some other issues in the future. But for now, things are fine. Let's dish some land out. Tortures Town is a good province though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I might keep that one for myself. Um, right, so we'll keep Last Cement. We'll keep Tortures Town because that was, a, as you can see, very, very good. Uh, oh, it's a city though. Shit. Just give away the duchy, I guess. Let's find some nice Valyrian boys to give some land to. Now, like I said, a printing a predecessor is going to be massive for when our next character takes over because we are going to inherit the tyrannical stain, which is something we're going to have to worry about. It's just going to be a general opinion, like minus 15 for a few years. So let's make sure that's as high as it possibly can be. I think she's going to die basically whenever that potion wears off because she's at what, like minus? She's got like 0. Point f Bear in mind, in CK2, you can die from just having like 2 health. 2 health is a good, that's a good indicator that you're going to drop down dead. But she's got minus 0 0.5 health. Second that potion wears off, she's fucking done for. Let's give it to some good marshals, actually. So let's give it, let's chuck some, chuck, chuck some stuff at some good marshals, because those boys will help bring in a decent amount of troops, obviously. What else we got here? Um, we've got another duchy, duchy of Wallano. We actually don't have that. I'll have to give these off as separate little counties in that case. Four out of three I'm going to hang on to, because a usual, a, another character would be able to do a lot more with this. It's the fact that she's infirm, depressed, everything else going on. This next character will probably be able to hold four out of three promises, especially if we marry him off to, like, a woman with good stewardship, for example. I'm going to keep the rest. Um, and, you know, mainly this is also going to give us a decent amount of tax as well. We've built, like, the castle towns and things, got that going for us. This is fantastic. My God. Our killer annoyed. Doesn't matter. What do our vassals think of us? Look at this. It's a little bit better, huh? Not fantastic, as I said. What the fuck do you mean Storm Singer of Tom Storm Trees Town? That's very weird. Probably want to see it on the council, I imagine, quite a lot of them. So let's dish out some land. Why do you hate me, then? Um, wants the control of the city of Tall Trees Town and the control of the Citrus Coves. Okay, I can do that, my friend. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that because he's a... Uh, there you go. You can have that one. Boom. What else do you want from me? He wants control of the Lordship of the Citrus Coves. We have that, though. Yeah, I'm not giving that to you. That's got good tax, my man. Yeah, just accept it. Right, send him a gift as well. Um, 27 gold for two opinion. I've never seen that before. I swear this guy then. I've done pretty much as much as I can for him. Um, I've got any more lords I could give some uh, titles to here. He'll do. Absolutely. What's wrong with you then? Why are you so mad at me? Um, heritage gate with foreign culture. What? What the fuck are you on about? Heritage gate with... Is he volunteering? Heritage gate with foreign culture? Oh, because his educator has a foreign culture? Yeah, so his educator is volunteering, right? Doesn't matter. It's not gonna it's he's not gonna come out volunteering, let's put it that way. And when he hopefully, maybe, he could hit the age of sixteen before we die anyway, and that will obviously give a, a few more points of uh, opinion there. What else can we do to get a little bit more opinion before we drop down dead? We could have like a feast. Probably not a bad idea. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the RAM together as much as possible. And that's probably not a bad plan. Got another revisor slot as well. Um sort by sort by rank and see who we can give that to. 
There we go. I've done as much as I can to try and make our vassals like us. Obviously, our the, the, the people who were around when we revoked all the titles, they're going to hate us. This guy doesn't like us because of reasons that don't make any goddamn sense. K Kinslayer Dishonorable, obviously, do. Um, lunatic, Cruel, Tyrant. In fact, no, all of them make sense in hindsight. Yep, no, that's absolutely fine why he would hate us. Just die. Is she ready to die yet? Oh, so the... the, the okay. The Alchemist Guild actually won't give us missions because they don't like us enough. Understandable, all things considered. When this woman dies, it's going to be a whole load off my mind. When is she dead? Uh, like a few months. Like literally two months. She, she is gone. Hopefully we can have the feast before then. Is everyone going to come? He's not, obviously. None of the lower lords are going to come whatsoever. Oh my god, is that all the people that refused us? With this going on. That, that kin slaying, as I've said before, is the biggest sin in, in Westerosi culture. And, you know, this house does kind of come from that. It, it's just the... I mean, obviously, it's a problem in the base game, but in the Game of Thrones world, it's a real big issue. The fact that we've got people coming to our court, our, our feast at all, with all of this is a massive, massive surprise. Welcome to my feast. Uh, welcome. Enjoy the food. Please remember what a great and just and nice ruler I am. Ignore all this. What a great and just and nice ruler I am. When I die, my heir takes over. Who is doing? Okay. Decisively fine. Gregarious, kind, cynical, paranoid. Actually, they're all good traits as far as I'm concerned. They're all pretty decent. Should we just become a freaking cannibal as well? Obviously not. Because that would do all this hard work we've got trying to make people a little happier with us. Let's also dish out some honorary titles as well. Just see if that will... I mean, it's not going to make any goddamn difference, is it? Um, oh, we can make our, our Storm Singer our food taster. Absolutely. Why not? Uh, there you go, my friend. You can enjoy that one. And I think with that, my hands are now tied. Wait for her to die. Then we're going to be playing as a half-decent character. So I had an idea. This vassal hated us for, you know, because of our areas being educated with foreign culture, whatever. So I gave him to him, increased an opinion. Now we've got another 15 opinion as well. Our most powerful vassal likes us a lot. I think this may work up. I thought his name was Anus then, as in like Anus Targaryen. The, oh, what was it? Zaparian, that we played as a couple of uh, series ago. Winter is doing so insanely well. The only reason I want to check that is because I noticed my goddamn Storm Singer has joined the war for Dawn. Just don't. Just give up. They, they, we, we can't beat them. I'm, I'm taking the, the side of the hound on this one. This is unbeatable. The Storm Throne is ruled by House Bolton. I mean, I'm not even sure it's worth saving at that point, is it? And there we go. Two years later, she finally died. Queen Frying Pan at the age of 60. She lived two, way longer than I thought she would. What did two years do for Griddle? Um, he's got diligent, just, paranoid, gregarious, kind... Cynical. What did he pick up? I think he's just picked up just, hasn't he? Uh, his educator's also apparently completely pissed off. And now Crockpot Volani. That's a real shame. Uh, there we go. Good God. Known for disregarding the rights of her subjects, Firing Pan was considered a tyrant. A tainted woman made the gods judge her for her actions. I agree. Uh, he's established a lower and last men, so we could actually try and grab... Oh, we've already got a dragon, though, haven't we? That's a real shame, because his dragon is obviously infinitely more powerful. Penla. Pe Penula? Well, there she is. She's actually not bad either. Um, Trainer and Marshall. Let's get a let's get something going for that one. Manipulate dreams. You can use your burning candle to give her disturbing dreams and visions. What the fuck? Oh my god, we've got a working glass candle now. Oh, that's huge. Um, what happened to our guardian though? He's just absolutely pissed off, huh? Oh, we also can't change our own educator. Why? Oh, there we go. Hang on. Sorry. Give it. Give it a second. Sign guardian. Right. Um, where is he? Patient, diligent, what was his name again? It's like, um, uh, something, something. Vargello, there he is. Welcome back, my friend. Uh, so we've picked up from him. We've got diligent. we got just. Oh my god, he's also patient, isn't he? And he's charitable. If we could get all of those, this guy would be insane. Another year to do it, probably not going to happen. Let's be reasonable. Can get married right now. G does not deserve a funeral. We should, we should put her body on a stake and let the flies have it, because that's just... She was a she was a monster. Means to end. She's restored the dynasty. Look, I mean, look at our character. He's a, he's not fantastic in stats. He's good in traits. Now we can really start the Valyrian colonization. We've got the man. We've got the gold. We've got the troops. Mantaris, you're on the, you're on the chopping block, my friend. You ugly fucker. You are on my chopping block. Oh my god, we could just dragon conquest them. We could actually start the colonization this episode. Niano, courtier, and Goyan Pass is a genius. And they're actually letting us marry her as well. Boom. There we go. Like I said, we can hold four out of four domain size. So I'm glad I kept on to that other promise as well. My god, this is working out well, huh? Hopefully we'll finish our education. If we become out a... Oh, who got Axion? Zelacor? Who the hell are you? Um, don't know how the hell he managed to do that, but congratulations, I guess. King Griddle Valani and Nio Vorta have gotten married. That's somebody from Star Trek. Um, what do you think? Ten Prestige or... 
We can ask for some gold. We've got prestige. Let's go for the gold so we can start building things. Greedy bastard. Five gold. Good God. What stingy shit. All right. So we want to build up. Let's go quickly to Citrus Coves. Then the second the council approve it, the second we come out of Regency, we're going to Mantaris. We're taking it all. Host a wedding feast. Sure, why not? It's Vassal Opinion plus 10, so that's probably not such a bad thing. And there we go, our active glass candle. Look at that. So that's... Oh, man, that's buffing up our stats quite a lot. We'd be kind of garbage without that, huh? Um, yeah, entry would be below 10. Diplomacy would be below 10. Learning would be... Learning's okay. We can actually drink Shade of Evening now. So if we want to buy that from the merchant whenever we go out, you know, the, the creepy guy that approached us. In fact, we can probably try and find it now. Oh, man, we can also divine. So the glass candles, as I said before, are basically just Palantir. Um, in fact, that symbol should be basically giving it away, huh? Magic things, you peer into the flame and see distant flames, essentially. Okay. Those voices sound foreign. Uh, elixir, should we, should we buy a... What's a battle elixir, I wonder? What does that do? Uh, it gives us... Martial plus two, personal combat skill plus 40. Wow, that's actually really good if you get into, like, a duel, like a trial by combat. That's massive. Best part about hosting a wedding is organizing the whole event. Disagree? Uh, 52 gold on that one. My god. Let's hire some people for our feast and invite everybody over. These guys, of course, not going to join us. Opinion predecessor is probably gigantic. Man, I'm interested in what that is. Uh, minus 42. Actually not nearly as bad as I thought. Oh my god. We've actually done it. Brilliant, Commander. And we became a poor fighter. Well, thank you. That's really the cherry on the cake there. Good. What does that give us? 22 fucking Marshall is incredible. Brilliant Commander plus 8, Dragon Rider plus 4, Poor Fighter plus 1, Diligent plus 1. Battle Potion as well. Really rounds us out quite nicely. Um, Do we pick up any other traits? I feel like we've got... Oh my god, we've got Cavalry Leader and Flanker. Weird. That's a little annoying, I guess, but not such a big deal. We would have obviously prepared, like, literally any other leadership traits. Inspiring Leader, Direct Leader, for example. Okay, what do you think? War Focus? Go straight into, like, what's that, 24 Marshall. We could drink the Battle Potion, take those at 26 if we need it. How many men have Mantaris got? They have a grand total of 6,000 men. It's actually fairly impressive. We, however, have a friggin' dragon. All right. Now then. Um, have a sun, improved combat ability. My god, I hope we get the Eastern Fighter. I love that event so much. Drink the Battle Elixir. That lasts a year. Let's chug it when we've actually landed our troops, huh? Let's do it. Onwards, my friends, to the homelands. I'll talk manipulate his dreams as well. What does what that do? Giving them negative effects. Oh my god, it's like the tainted touch. He's stressed. How frequently can we do that? Um, we can do that every year. Are you, oh my god, it's every six months. What the fuck? That's insane. Oh, but it also can drive us mad, I guess. I thought those were effects on him. There's got to be a downside to this. That's nuts. All right, Mantaris. More like my Taris. <clears throat> Merge the boats. Merge the troops. Get them all together. 7,400 men, led by Griddle with his 24 marshal and his freaking dragon. What's the dragon like again? I don't remember what his was. It wasn't particularly weak, though. 17 marshal, playful, wrath, fertile as well. Means we're going to get plenty of dragon eggs. We actually still have a dragon egg. Axion and Damex, we could sell one of them. Um, wow, this is nuts. This is absolutely insane. Off we go. How quickly we've turned things around. I'll be honest. Didn't take that into account. Oh, God, no. That's really bad. Oh, because they're all freaking Valyrian, aren't they? Oh, my God. So they've joined this massive religious coalition to stop us conquering Mantaris. I mean, realistically, are they really going to send troops over to Last Lament? Probably, actually. Um, all we've got to do is turn up Torch the Capital, right? Torch the Capital. Torch whatever we can. Kill their troops. Whatever else. Then we might just about be able to get through this. Worst case scenario, we white piece and we go for somewhere else. That would be pretty bad, though, huh? Okay. 6,000 men just standing right there. You are so screwed. Uh, yeah, it's times will be useful here. Head in. I mean, we'll stand in Tolos for a bit, I guess, and, and recover a little bit of morale. Keep a close eye on the outline. And the second we see, like, Siege of Last Lament or Siege of Last Keep, that's when we need to panic a little bit. For now, though, uh, let our morale increase a little bit. And then immediately go for... Where did their armies go? Did they get on the fucking boats? No, I wanted to kill you. Ah, oh, they got the goddamn boats. You shit, marry you, please. I don't care about you. All right, we may just be able to get through this. Um, oh, oh, wow. To edge in this contact with Tri, so so the Bank of Tyrosh want to give us gold because the Bank of Bravos are owed a debt by Triarch Donio of Valerius. If he can't pay that back to the Bank of Bravos, the Bank of Bravos are out of pocket and they're doing better. He wants to give us a 217 gold debt 
for 10% interest rate is insane. Um, so we would have to pay back. I mean, that's, that's a good deal. That's like an insanely good deal, but we don't need it. Like, it, we're, we're right on that one. I'd rather just not worry about it, to be honest with you, because otherwise that debt might come up when we can't afford to pay it or something along those lines. More to the point, drink the, drink the elixir, deploy the dragon, torch them all. Oh god, immediately wounded. It's not inspired. This does not inspire confidence. Round two. It's only 5% chance to be maimed, though. Oh, there we go. That's what we're after. They're there. Okay, siege of last keep. Um, we say stalwart defender. Get another plus two marshal. Taking us up to a nice, toasty 28. I'll take that one. I can't believe there's 14 freaking people left. Are you joking? All right. Um, second we can do it. Just blast them. Then I guess we'll send our troops back to... Please don't be maimed. Oh, okay. We'll send our troops back to... Oh, hang on. But that is 61% war score. Let's go stop this siege. Let's go and stop this siege. <gasps> no! My weird butcher! <laughs> he will be avenged. God damn it, my fucking Sweeney Todd. Okay. Um, oh, they just assaulted that down, huh? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Well, let's go and stop this as soon as possible then. In fact, if we've got the capital. If we're able to counter you just and kill their troops, that'll probably be enough to, to win the war, to be completely honest with you. All right, go south of Valyria. Sailing up the islands now. Come on, land. Don't let Volantis... Move in, because those guys have so many troops. <gasps> Daymax is healed, and he has grown. He evolved. My Charmander. He's finally a Char Lizard. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, we could just probably swing for that and win with the dragon, but I am going to give it time. We haven't got enough time to give it, because, like I said, I don't want the Lancers to bring their troops together and actually manage to counter-siege what we've grabbed up in, uh, up in Valyria there. Go for it. Deploy the dragon almost instantly, I think, is probably the best plan. Torch our capital. Who cares? We're out of here. Nice. We got him. Regal Zabradar has been beaten back and burnt, or not burnt, actually not burnt at all. Boom. We've liberated it. Nice. Okay, that's all it took. Fantastic. Chase the troops down. Kill them all. Just kill as many as we freaking can at this point. Come on. 78%. Take me up to 100. I want to see 100. 83. I mean, if we keep doing this, we, we might actually genuinely be able to get up to 100 jokes aside. 88. Siege one more province, and we are done. We are on the Valyrian mainland. A daughter, Rayenra. She is Right, okay, well, I suppose that's something, huh? Uh, Curious and Fussy, garbage name. You are going to have Crockpot Steamer Dead Eris. <laughs> Hot Plate. Oh, my God, that one's good. That Unless unless we get a good one within, like, five rolls, I'm going to have to come up with something fresh. I will try and come up with some fresh ones in between episodes, because I, I think I have genuinely exhausted the supply for the most part. Right, I said back then. Next province on the list, please. Do it. Burn them. What are we looking like? Oh, come on. 2,000 men. Please, please end this war. Th let's ignore the fact that it's 4.30 in the morning for actually me right now as well. I don't want this to get too protracted. They've got too many allies. We're literally beset on all sides here. There's nothing to say that they wouldn't counter siege. Oh, okay. I thought they were actually, like, taking back our capsule or something then for a second. Let's put another commander on the, on the flank here. Right, deploy the dragon. Round two. Here we go, squad. Burn it. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. One more of those and we should be good. We could even go for the assault and risk it, but... I'd rather not. We're so close to being able to hit our goal. We're almost there. This is it. Let's just be patient for the first time in my goddamn life. Torch him again. Come on, deploy the dragon. Dracarys. <gasps> that would do. No, 89%. Are you fucking kidding me? What, the, what are you on about 89%? Should we just carry on with their capital then, I guess? We've got to deploy the dragon no matter what. So why don't we go back and try and siege this city next? That may just give us the war score we need. I, I mean, we've got to take a war score anyway. Loser trait diligent. Didn't want that anyway. The diligent is for idiots. Um, empowering the council. Okay, I'm not too bothered about my vassal empowering the council, I'll be honest with you. Burn them all. Do it. <gasps> but wounded. Okay, wounded is fine. Oh, God, this is a powerful city. In fact, that just means more war score, so I'm fine with that. So close. This is, this is really, oh, trained fighter as well is quite nice. I think that's just from having the improved combat ability that event fires, because that's the second time we've had that now. Win the war, free marshal, I'll take it. Oh, come on, we're almost done. Is it, is it worth risking the dragon one last time, or shall I be, pa no. No, I'm not, I'm patient, but I'm not that patient, you know. Um, well, I'm not even that patient in the first place. Tax concessions, absolutely, my friend, you, you deserve this. We are rebuilding Valyria, my friends. Okay, we're done. That was actually it. We're, uh, we're in Valyria. My guys, we are in Valyria. We've gone from Summer Hall to Last Lament to Valyria itself. North Valyria, but it's still friggin' Valyria. My god. Bring, bring them home. Bring them home. This is insane. Apparently I still got a friggin' liberation war I had no idea about. For 
God's sake, God, please, just let me go to sleep. Okay, uh, we're fine. Don't worry. This, this won't take 30 seconds here. Let's, let's get, get them on board. Bring them bring them all down to here, and then we'll just kill them all with the dragon. Well, I'm going to feed every last one of them. All of the... Crashed. Please. Ah! We're going to leave this one. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We're back in Valeria. My God. what That's taken a long time. It's been a lot of planning. It's been a lot of meticulous setting things up. We've got to worry about exclaves. Let's try and move our capital to Valeria as soon as possible. Turn it into an economic powerhouse so that we can colonize the rest of the goddamn place. Let's just not forget, this series would not be possible without the following people. And those people are Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kuroto, Atmosis, Austin Gothier, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Blurry Bunny, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Escape, Fukuno Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Muller, Mr. Smug, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Circle the Swede, Stannis Amanis, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vicarious Backers, and Zazie 7011 as well. Thank you all for your support at the ridiculously high tier levels on Patreon. You are a bunch of insane people. Thank you. It is most appreciated. Thank you for thank you for keeping the channel alive. And of course, a thank you as well needs to go out to Astro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Arachnid 44, Ben Trope, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Dunk Honey 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gebra Faulkner, Gebra Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Gray, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Aaron McGowan, I Swallow Come, I See the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jose, Euron DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lusmi, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Pant Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch Billionaire, Shari Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Will Wade, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico too. I can't believe I stumbled right at the end. That's a that's a real shame. <laughs>